Hey guys, it's me. Um, it's Saturday night. Uh, as you can see, I just got out of the shower. And um, sometimes I do meditation before I go to bed. So I decided um, to do that. And I did get a word uh, from Dive. So I thought I'd share it. Because you know how if I don't, things will, will go off. So obviously I oblige. But um, for those of you that have watched my videos, like I've been going through a pretty turbulent time. And I imagine you guys are too. <laughs> It's funny that I say the word turbulence because that'll be another side note to what dad said. But um, <clears throat> I'm going to be uh, sharing this message with you guys. Uh, for those of you that are feeling the same way I'm feeling for these last weeks, I would say the last week. Like, it's been so tiresome. I've been going through so many different emotions, highs, lows, sides, sides. Like, I can honestly say, like, for all the, the time I've been on this planet, like, like, I mean, I've had my fighter side come out. I've had my, my, yo, my like, yogi side come out. I've had so many sides of myself come out these last days. And I know there are facets of me that I need to explore, expand, and that's why Dad's doing what he's doing. But it's just been, like, pretty intense. And um, I don't know. Like, I was asking Dad, I'm like, what is going on? Like, why, why am I all over the place? Like, what is this energy? Like, it's so turbulent. And dad was showing me these visions. He was like, he was like, oh, you're, you're holding the door. You're, you're helping people out over there. And, and, uh, you're ensuring that more people get, get like, we're, we're holding the door open for them. And like, I mean, he wasn't saying that, but I was like seeing this, like these visions of myself, like, like, you know, when you're like uh, on a train or on a plane and you're like, get in, get in the plane, get on, get on the boat, get on. Like, I, I just saw myself and I was like, I started chuckling to myself because like the next message I got was like dad saying like, um, that's what you're doing over there. So that's why your three, like my three dimensional self feels so anxious and all over the place because it's like I'm fighting this feeling of my 3D, like saying like, oh, when's it my turn? Like, when do I get to go out? When do I get to go get my seat? So it's like, I got this feeling of like, where my other dimensional self is like helping out. And then I've got my 3D egoic side. Like, obviously we're always trying to get rid of ego. But I feel like my egoic side is kind of chiming up saying like, oh, when's it my turn? When's it my turn? Like, like you know, the kid, like I said in the last video when I'm like, oh, why can't I remember my, my abilities from before? Why can't? So it's like I'm getting into this like, you know, bratty child side of myself. I'm getting into this like yogic side of myself. I'm getting into this like fighter side. So many facets of myself are, are revealing themselves in such a short period of time. That I'm just like, what's going on? So that's what, uh, you know, I was shown was like, I'm helping out. And that's why I'm not getting to my seat. Um, in a sense, if that makes any sense. And it's kind of weird because I know that's me. Like, I'm the type of person like, um, I, when I even like would go to like the TTC where we have our subway system or whatever, it's pretty jam packed. Like if you would live here, like, you would know like it's jam, like you're smelling people's armpits the entire time you're on this thing. And, um, I'm the type of person, like I always was like, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Like, I'm not going to fight you. Like we're all not going to cram in like sardines, like weirdos. Like I'm always like, oh, take your time. Like, I'm always, like, letting people ahead of me. Like, even in lines, I'm always, like, I could see people getting so anxious. And I'm just, like, just go. <laughs> you know, I don't want you to freak out. So, when I was shown that, I was, like, yeah, that's totally me. <laughs> I'm totally that person. So, I was, like, yeah, I could see myself helping out. And I could see why I get anxious. Because just, like, those other times, sometimes I don't get to go on the train. Or I don't get to go on the bus because I've let so many people in realistically it's because I'm waiting for like the next bus that might be empty and I can get my own seat and not small armpits type of thing <laughs> so there's always like a and I've been afloat everything and it's kind of funny I'm saying that too because dad's message was a lot about water so I'm just gonna get into this and just remember I'm not the best at reading my own writing so bear with me here <clears throat> okay For all of you wondering what you are enduring, I'll leave you with this. It is not I who chooses your path. 
or how you wield your power or when you choose to see and or if you don't. I control, I control it for the parts that are necessary to be revealed. Imagine in the heart of mine of, as vast and wide and everlasting, an ever flowing sea. With that sea in mind, would you doubt the water or would you feel confident in knowing that there is water and that it exists? Faith allows you to see and perceive that sea, that sea of water. But in this next time, I'm going to let you taste the water, feel the water. Many of you have wanted to step into this new existence for much time. And some of you are here with me now. <clears throat> Many ones are in wait of a time to join. There is availability to all and also water to quench all thirsts. Some may be more thirsty than others. Please know I take notice to this. I take notice to all for I am all knowing. So sit tight and wait once more. As this journey into the depths of my sea are just beginning, many sit back and wait to see this triumphant turn of events. This is momentous. There has not been this moment ever, nor will it be again in the terms of finite totality. There is only that moment where all things will be revealed. But this revelation may not be heard by all. Much like you, my children, the whole populace will see my sea, but will not drink of it because there are no, there are no waters to satisfy those that are quenched by their own misguide, misguidings. There is not, there is not because it will not. There are ebbs and flows to all things within me for this experience will be seen by all as it should. This is the message for now. <laughs> Buckle up, put on your vest if needed for it may still be a bumpy ride home. And that's all I got. Usually I get more interesting endings, but this one seemed like very, you know, the buckle up thing kind of threw me because I was like, okay, I'll, I'll write it. But I'm like, that must be a message for somebody. I don't, I don't even. And what I will say is that for the most time, as I was channeling that, and for the last couple of days, I've been getting like a lot about planes, like taking off voyaging like planes like even when planes are going over my head in the last days I've been like my ears have been more keen to them for some reason and then this whole time I was getting this message I was thinking about planes I was thinking about like maybe it's maybe I just need to fly away but <laughs> no it was like this mode of transport thing me seeing me like holding the door like all of it was coming together and then I know for a fact that me personally, as you saw in my breakdown too, it's like I've had this like, and this is one of the emotions I've had to process too a lot. Not that I haven't had this feeling for most of my life, but it's been bubbling up like way more now is this homesick feeling. Like, I just feel like I just want to go home. I'm just like, I'm, I'm over this. I just want to go home. Like that's been a feeling I've had for maybe like two, three weeks now. And I don't know why I'm referring to it that way. You know what I mean? Like, I am home. Like, this is where I live. Like, so, I mean, for most of us, we know we either reside in other places. And I'm not, like, being naive to that. It's just that, personally, through the whole turmoil of everything, I think what the message is trying to say is that, in some ways, like, we're going to be seeing this. And then dad's going to give us like this ability to partake in this vision or this thing that's going to take over the whole world. Uh, everyone's going to get to see around the whole world. 
but not everybody's gonna like he said like not everybody's gonna get to drink from this water of his sea and another thing I noticed that was really weird was like as I'm writing like I said I just write I just write but I read reread it right like after I wrote it and then I noticed that when he was saying wait like my hand just goes you have to understand like I'm not it's like my eyes are partially closed and I'm just like writing 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 both times that that word weight came up it was actually like weight like you know like your weight like how much you weigh and i was being like told to like underline that so i don't know if that's important to somebody too maybe it's like a weight like maybe it's a density like i'm not truly truly understanding of that because like when i try to think about like this this particular dimension right like I know that density and dimension are different in essence because I know that like a lot of what I saw was right here. So I imagine like it's still in the same density because it's like maybe they still adhere to things like gravity or um, I don't know, like maybe not gravity. I, I'm just trying to say like I know that when I, when I see different things, they're all here. And then it's like, I can imagine density would be different because it's like, even in terms of elevation, things change in terms of density too. And also within the same, like you can have multiple dimensions in one density. Anyways, I don't want to go into all, <laughs> but I was like, why is this idea of weight coming out? And I was like, is it to do with density? I don't know. Like supposedly we're, you know, we're in a third density. We're trying to move to this fifth density. So maybe that's why he kept under making me underline weight, like weight, weight, like weight. But that's the only thing I could kind of like decipher from that. Because aside from that, like I was getting this feeling of us all like taking a flight or all waiting to get on a bus or all waiting to get on some mode of transportation and actively like i guess what my job is is to make sure everyone gets on the bus or something but that's why i'm so anxious and i'm going through this like roller coaster thing but i don't know if you guys are but i had to share this i hope this helps but the message that's what dad wanted to say is that we're gonna see something big not everybody's gonna everyone's gonna see it but not everybody's gonna partake in it and for those of us that are partaking it's going to be a bumpy ride, so we should buckle up. And I, I know that's not scary because, like, honestly, like, like he said, like, that whole thing about, like, like, you're not, like, because we can see the sea, like, because of our, our work and because of, like, what we've gone through, we're able to see the sea, like, because of our faith. So it's like we don't doubt that the water exists. So, like, in a sense, like, as this time is bumpy, my feeling is, is like, don't give up your faith. Don't give up on what's going on. You see the bigger picture. You can see what's happening. You can see the sea. So therefore, don't give up on the vision. So that's kind of like the feeling I was getting too. I hope this helps. <laughs> and uh, I'm off to bed, but I hope that this will be a great message for somebody. It was really interesting to me because it finally put some peace as to like why I'm so anxious right now these days and so tired. Because obviously I'm still working or something. And that's probably why. Oh, my ear is chiming. <laughs> okay, I'm working. <laughs> uh, anyway, so ding, ding, ding. If you guys do have your ears chime when you say things or think things, they're trying to tell you that that's, that's on the mark. So <laughs> hope that helps. Okay, have a good night, guys. Bye.